One deputy is in sur surgery right now at Memorial Hermann Hospital downtown. The other deputy is also being treated for a gunshot wound on the foot. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner joins us live from the hospital with the latest. Rochelle. Sabira, Sophia, good morning. In the last hour, we've seen crime scene unit detectives arrive at the hospital. HPD is leading this investigation because the shooting happened in, within the city limits. But at last check, those two deputies were undergoing surgery. As you guys mentioned, one shot in the back. The other deputy shot in the foot. A third deputy died from his injuries. And during a briefing this morning, Constable Mark Herman said, this was probably one of the toughest days of his career. He's asking the community to pray for the families involved. The deputies were working an extra job at the 45 North Bar and Lounge on the North Freeway. They heard a disturbance outside, which may have been a robbery attempt, but they didn't know at the time when they were trying to take a person into custody. The deputies were ambushed from behind by a man with a rifle. It's a tragedy in that, you know, I got a dad there that I had to talk to. I've got a wife there, uh, and they've got a, a deceased son and husband. I've got two other deputies that are, you know, in surgery. Uh, one of them, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not real sure. I know what I was told, but I don't want to, to, to go into details. But, but this, this incident is going to affect them for the rest of their lives. And uh, I, I do believe that, that, that good always trumps evil. And uh, what happened tonight was evil. And as Devin mentioned, they do have a person of interest in custody, but we're not sure if that person was the shooter or a witness. The shooter is described as a Hispanic male in his 20s. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this story and continue to bring you the very latest developments. For now, reporting live from the Medical Center, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Rochelle. Less than 45 minutes ago, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tweeted his condolences to the Princeton Precinct 4 Constable's Office. Gonzalez says he and his department are sending their thoughts and prayers with the family, friends, and co-workers of those deputies involved. 